So Patrick asked if I could kind of show what I had just done with these with this flower video. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to apologize in advance. I'm not feeling well, so my voice isn't great. And if I cough, you'll have to forgive me. So I just moved over mine and I'm going to show you with some new images that I already got put together. So let me ungroup this. So what I did is I just went to media and I searched for flowers and you're going to find a ton. So then I go to my media and I chose to do this one. So I'm just going to click and drag it over and then I have my new image. So I'm going to show you what I did with this first and ignore what I already have done. So let me just move those out of the way. So I have my base image and I actually just duplicated it. So this one I'm just going to rename base. This one I'm just going to rename red. Then I'm going to duplicate that. And then I'm just going to rename that one little red. Um, but that's not what I wrote little and then I'm going to duplicate it one more time and I'm going to name this yellow I did that because I'm going to have three different um, flowers that I use the pen tool on so I can fade those in and ma mask them to fade them in so let me move those over for a second and then show you what I did to the base image for the base image I then went to effects and I got a filter and then I wanted to choose I wanted black and white but if you go to black and white it really doesn't look good for our purposes so I chose sepia and that's actually really good because you don't see the color and it's just black and white so let me get rid of these so that we can just work off of what I have already so you have your base image and your three images I'm going to move these two over because I'm only going to do one with you because it would be too long to do too many. So what I have is I have my base image and then I have the one that I chose for my red that's right on top of it. I'm not sure why that's, did it change to a uh, it did change to sepia. I don't want that. So we have our black and white, but now it just goes to everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click, be sure that I'm on this um, layer. I'm going to go up to my pen tool. I am going to make this larger and I'm just using my scroll wheel by pinching and dragging it open. You can also go up here and make it what size you want. If you hit F, it just fills back to the original. All right, I just restarted. Um, for some reason, I clicked end the recording, which isn't what I meant to do. So I'm going to be sure that I'm clicking on the, the layer that I want, the red flower. I'm going to go to the pen tool. Then I'm just going to click on it. And you're going to see a blue dot shows up and then this pen this path shows up on your timeline and then I'm just going to follow along on the flower now you can do the click and drag that um, that Josh shows and I'm not getting it while I'm talking but I found that it didn't really work on this smaller image um, and I'm not very good at it, so I'm going to have to practice that. But right here, I'm just going to follow along with the image and then click on the, old, the starting point and you now have the whole thing connected. You're going to go up here to color, drop down, and you're just going to dra drag this so that the whole image is filled with the, red, with the white color. Then you want to go down here to borders and you don't want a border. So you're going to click and drag this to zero. Now, when you look at this, you see that I didn't do the best of jobs on this. So you can fix it by going on it and clicking twice 
and I can just click and drag these a little bit to clean it up a little um, like that. Now I can do more cleaning up here, but what you could do is click off of it and say, oh, okay, that cl cleaned up there, but let's fix that one. And right here, I'm not gonna do any more, but as you can see, I started to do it. Although some of these just really drive me crazy. So that looks a little better. All right, so now what I wanna do is I want to click on both of these. So what I did is I clicked on the path, I held down my shift key, clicked on the red flower, mask red flower with path. And now you see the red shows up. So when I go like this and I now play it, the red shows up, but it's kind of abrupt. So I just went in and I put the fade in. There you go. Then I already did it for the other two flowers. So you just can, I'm gonna drag those back here and you can have them come in at different times. And then here you go. So you have, whoop, you have the yellow and the red and then the little red show up. And that's all it is for the pen tool. Then all I did was I, and me starting again and realizing this little, mm -hmm menu for loom was in the way of these and that's why I kept hitting the stop. So just to quickly show you, um, I just went to components and the spotlight clicked and dragged it on. So that's how I got some of the other parts of the image. So here I had it on, kind. I think I did more like this kind of thing. I just made it a little bigger this way. So it covered it, it um, showed some of the words that I had as well and then you just go over here for the edge feather so it kind of gives a blurred effect and then you can play with the opacity to nothing to darker on the edges and I think I had it around here because what I did is the beginning one I made it a little bit smaller here so that it was showing the, um, I can't find my thing. So it was showing the flowers that I had. And then I had that for a little while. And then I just made an animation of position and scale. I think I just used linear. I'm not 100% sure. Then I just brought it up so that it would, let me not talk while I'm doing this, probably should have waited, but here we go. So I had it there and then it would start to grow like that. So that was just the effects that I used in that, that I thought I would add here. And that's about all there is to it. Hope it helps.